history of the region, in 1901, local businessmen developed the area below the bluffs and renamed Port Bayona Platte All Right. Another new attraction was the trolley cars that were developed the Pacific Electric Line from downtown LA. On some weekends, over 2,000 tourists would come down to Platte All Right. 1921, Dickinson and Gillespie, a real estate firm, they developed Palisades Del Rey and then Surf Ridge Estates, sort of an upscale community. Obviously, the people were attracted to the beach living, and it was the last undeveloped area. The area was actually uh, was built with sensible restrictions to certain races. Essentially, Surfridge was an all-white community. In essence, if you weren't a wasp, you were not going to buy a home or, or build a home. The area was built as an enclave absolutely on purpose. The attraction was kind of the seclusion specifically designed for the uh, hoi polloi of the time. These were mansions, and quite a few famous people, including Cecil B. DeMille, lived in one of those mansions. Palisades Del Rey and Surfridge begins to, to be developed in earnest, and virtually all the lots are, are built 